Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. All the multi-subject videos are designed to help teachers get ready for the new exams that are coming out in 2020 and 2021 for history, English, and science. So use this video to review core concepts and strategies for your exam. On the day of the test, it doesn't matter what exam you're taking, you want to have an action plan. You want to be able to go into that test and have an idea of how to manage your time. And if you run out of time and you don't get to your essays, you could potentially lose a lot of points just because you spent too much time in one area. So there's got to be a balance. So I want to make a, a recommendation for all the exams that are out there in terms of time. And we're going to use the, the measurement of time here is going to be four hours. And in this four hours that you have, make sure that you give three hours for the multiple choice. This three hours for the multiple choice is really for those content exams, like the the MTEL 06, the history, or the MTEL 07, the English, and all these others too. Look at all the new exams that are coming out. And, and, and these are all the, the, the revamping of these exams. So in 2020, 2021, you're going to see a new English exam come out. You're going to also see a new uh, math exam come out, or a new general science exam come out, or a new chemistry exam come out, or a new foundations of reading exam come out. So all these are content exams, and they're major exams, and they all, for the most part, have 100 multiple choice and two essays. So let me write that down. For in the four hours that you have for these content exams, you have to do 100 multiple choice and two essays. So this pacing is very, very important. And if you give yourself three hours on the multiple choice, then you'll be having to move at a clip of one to two minutes per question. So there are going to be some questions that you're going to need a little bit more than two minutes to solve. And the only way you'll get that time, the only way you'll be able to fit in that little extra time for those harder questions is if you're able to solve some of the questions in one minute or 90 seconds. In general, though, you want to finish that multiple choice on these four-hour exams in three hours. And then you have an hour left. Now, for that hour, I would divide it into writing your essays and some time to check. So I'm going to put down for these two essays, for these content exams, I'm going to put down 20 minutes each for each essay and 20 minutes to check your work. That last 20 minutes, see if you can revise those essays, see if you can go back and answer a couple more multiple choice. Give yourself a little bit of time at the end. This is a cushion at the end of your test. The worst thing that could happen is that you don't keep track of time, and you're not watching the clock to see that you only have a minute left, and you don't get to submit these two essays. The open response for these two essays is worth 60 points. So if you don't budget your time, and you don't get to submit an essay or both essays, you've just lost 60 points. I want you to at least pause the last 20 minutes, look at your time, look at your essay, and make sure those essays are in, submitted, so you get credit or partial credit for them. No one wants to lose those 60 points because you didn't manage your time. Make sure you have a pacing plan on the day of the test. It doesn't have to match up with my suggestions, the three hours on the multiple choice, the 20 minutes per essay, and the 20 minutes to check your work, but have some plan that works for you. And in this way here, you'll be covering your bases on the multiple choice, the essays, and still have a little bit of time to go back and check and revise. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. If you like this video, press the like button below or subscribe to our channel. This allows us to do more videos for teachers on their teacher certification exams. And if you need additional help, you can come and check out a Go Academy workshop or webinar or tutoring. You go to www.goacademy.com. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.